بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Among the most significant seasons of worship are the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah These days are unparalleled in their words Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him and his father reported that Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said There are no days in which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah than these 10 days The companions asked Not even jihad for the sake of Allah the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied, "Not even jihad for the sake of Allah, except for a man who went out to fight, giving himself and his wealth for the cause, and returned with nothing." Another narration by Ibn Abbas radiallahu taala anhuma states, "There is no deed more precious in the sight of Allah, nor greater in reward than a good deed done during the ten days of sacrifice." When asked, "Not even jihad." for the sake of Allah, he replied, not even jihad for the sake of Allah, except for a man who went out to fight, giving himself and his wealth for the cause, and come back with nothing. These narrations highlight that first 10 days of Zul Hijjah are superior to all other days of the year, even more than the last 10 days of Ramadan. However, my dear brothers and sisters, the last 10 nights of Ramadan hold a special place because they include Laylatul Qadr, which is better than a thousand months. So these first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah are even better than the last 10 days of Ramadan but not the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Allah says in the glorious Quran, taking an oath by them. Allah swear by these days in the Quran signifying their importance and immense benefit. Allah says in Surah Al-Fajr Wal-Fajr By the dawn and by the 10 nights. And scholars like Ibn Abbas, Ibn Zubair, Mujahid and others have stated this this refers to the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah and Ibn Kathir affirms this saying this is the correct opinion and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged extensive righteous deeds during this period due to their unparalleled virtue this encouragement applies globally with added emphasis for the pilgrims in the sacred house of Allah the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam instructed us to frequently recite phrases like Subhanallah Alhamdulillah Allah and Allah Akbar during these days. Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, there are no days greater in the sight of Allah and in which righteous deeds are more beloved to him than these 10 days. So recite a great deal of tahleel yani say la ilaha illallah takbir yani say Allahu Akbar and tahmeed yani say alhamdulillah you may arafa also falls on this this day, this day, one of the ten, holds immense significance, is the day Allah perfected his religion. Fasting on this day expiates sins for two years. Also includes Yawmul Nahar, the day of sacrifice, the greatest day of the entire year, which holds immense spiritual value. These are the days of sacrifice and Hajj. These days are also significant because they encompass the days of sacrifice and the rituals of Hajj, which is the fifth pillar of Islam. What are the things that one should avoid in Zul Hijjah. For those intending to offer sacrifice, specific prohibitions apply during these 10 days. The Sunnah instructs that one should refrain from cutting their hair and nails or removing anything from the skin until after the sacrifice has been made. This is based on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam guidance. When you see the new moon of Zul Hijjah, if anyone of you wants to offer a sacrifice, he should stop cutting his hair and nails until he has sacrificed an animal. This prohibition served as a symbolic act of respect paralleling the state of ihram during Hajj. However, if someone accidentally or out of necessity cuts their hair or nails, they should seek Allah's forgiveness but are not required to offer an additional sacrifice. What else should be done in Zul Hijjah to maximize the reward? To fully benefit from these 10 days, Muslims are encouraged to engage in various acts of worship. These include number one fast. It is the sunnah fast on the ninth day of Zul Hijjah. The day of Arafah is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged good deeds during this time and fasting is among the most rewarding as stated in the Hadith Qudsi. Allah says all the deeds of the son of Adam are for him except for fast which is for me and I am the one who will reward it. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used fast
fast first nine days of Zul Hijjah and encourage others to do so as well. Number two, Takbir. The recitation of Takbir, Allahu Akbar, and Tahmeed, Alhamdulillah, and Tahleel, La ilaha illallah, and Tasbih, Subhanallah, is encouraged throughout ten days. This should be done loudly by men and quietly by women, expressing the greatness and praise of Allah. Number three, performing Hajj and Umrah. These ten days are among the best times to perform Hajj, a deed that promises paradise for those who perform it correctly. Number four, doing more good deeds. Engaging in all forms of righteous actions such as prayer, reading the Quran, making supplications, giving charity and maintaining family ties is highly encouraged. Number five, sacrifice. Offering a sacrifice is a significant deed during these days. Selecting a high quality animal and dedicating it in the name of Allah is an act that brings a huge reward. And number six is sincere repentance. During these 10 days, one of the most significant actions a Muslim can undertake is sincere repentance to Allah, abandoning all forms of disobedience and sin. Repentance means returning to Allah, giving up all deeds, both visible and hidden, that he disapproves of. It involves feeling genuine remorse for past acts, seizing them immediately, and firmly resolving never to return to them, committing instead to the path of righteousness and performing deeds that Allah loves. If a Muslim falls into sin, it's crucial to repent immediately without delay. This urgency stems from two reasons. First, the uncertainty of life and not knowing when death will come and second, the tendency of one sin to lead to another. Repentance is especially significant during specific times of heightened spiritual awareness such as these 10 days when individuals are more in inclined towards worship and doing good deeds. This inclination often brings a deeper recognition of one's sins and a stronger sense of regret for past transgressions. Although repentance is an obligation at all time, combining sincere repentance with good deeds during these blessed 10 days signifies true success, insha'Allah ta'ala. Allah says in the glorious Quran, but as for him who repented, believed and did righteous deeds, then he will be among those who are successful. Muslims should be diligent and not missing these valuable opportunities as time swiftly passes. They should prepare themselves by performing good deeds and will be benefit when they most need it. Regardless of how much reward one accrues, it will never be enough. The time of departure from this world is imminent. The journey to the hereafter is daunting. Delusions are pervasive and the path is long. Yet Allah is ever watchful and to Him we will return an account for our actions. The Quran reminds us, So whosoever does good equal to the weight of an atom shall see it, and whosoever does evil equal to the weight of an atom shall see it. So the potential for reward is immense during this ten invaluable and irreplaceable days. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, seize the opportunity to perform good deeds before death and regret sets in for neglect or failing to act. Act swiftly, for there is no second chance in the grave where praise will be answered. Before death intervenes and separate one from their hopes and ambitions, and before one is confined with their deeds in the grave, take those whose hearts are hardened and dark is the night. Is it not time to let the light of faith soften your heart? Open yourselves to the gentle breeze of Allah's mercy during these ten days. For Allah bestows His mercy upon whom He will. Those who receive this mercy will will find happiness on the day of judgment. May Allah bless our Prophet Muhammad, his family and his company. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.